Hey there everybody, this is RTS Targe here with another video review, this time of the Nerf Vortex Nitron. So, I know you're wondering, how the hell did I get this? Well, it's very simple. Targets, as you know, are, or as you may know, are in the process of restocking everything. So I went there, expecting to find the new Falcon um, Mega Bloks, but no, they had the EVA's last stand, but then I noticed this. They had all four blasters out, and uh, apparently we were unaware that these are not supposed to be out yet. But they were also in the computer, which means the cashier was none the wiser, as I hastily beat my retreat out of the store. So I believe that this is the first review, at least in English, of um, the Nitron. So um, I know that I'm not well known for my Nerf reviews. I only have one. That's the Alpha Trooper. Um, but it it just be a bit of a crime to not review this. Um, yeah. So. I figure I'm going to follow the standard procedure for reviewing Nerf guns, which is an unboxing video, then a fire test video, then I think I'll somehow have an overview at maybe in the firing test or, yeah, maybe a separate video. So, uh, yeah, time to get cutting. Ah, uh, tripods, how I love them. Except for this thing, which is useless. So, yeah, they're not supposed to come out till 9, 10, 11. It is the 3rd of August, and I said they told me this, and here it is. So, instructions, or components, here's the instructions. Going to need 6C batteries. And two triple A's for the uh, scope sight thing. Yeah. So we'll see, see everything? No. There we go. How's this? That's good. That's not good. How's this? So here are the darts. You know, these do feel like different foam. Judge this to be about inch and a half diameter. This is rubberized, it's slightly flexible. This is a different foam. I hear it's what they use in the uh, end strike or their melee weapons. This okay. Okay. Now for let me see this. Yes. You know, they make a little laser you mount on on the lens that makes a a box for. Um, so you can see what is in the sight and what's not when you are nowhere near the V-line or line of sight. So here's the uh, sight. You can see through it. There's little angled things. That's neat. I suppose this end is the front. Um, on off. Batteries. Feels fairly light right now. Now for the meat of the set. What else? It's holding this end up. Oh. 
feels fairly light-ish. Well, maybe slightly heavier than the Recon. Um, feels good. Needs a better comb, though. Uh, I don't know what most of these do. It appears that you cannot hold down the trigger until this is pushed down. Mm, yeah. The stuff. So, that's it. Um, unboxed. And I'll see you next either part or yeah, I think I'll have these all in one part. So, I'll see you when it's all assembled. Okay, if this has been RTS Targe, sign off, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye. Okay, so, I'm back. It's been more than a few seconds for me. Um, yeah. This part's very heavy. And, um, just because that's where the C batteries are. I did not have enough C batteries, so I had to go to the store. Yeah. So, these for the release. There's one on each side. Okay, I was right here. That mailbox is what I was aiming at. It's approximately 60 feet away. Here's this one that failed. And so, there's a bit of a wind breeze. Dang insulation. So, most of them grounded right about here. So that's six feet away from the mailbox, but bounced off, and that's why there's three here. And then there's more here. Okay, so, yeah, about 60. If there was no breeze, it'd be a bit easier to tell. So, yeah, see you in the next part. Bye. So, uh, now for the overview part, since I've gone through the opening and shooting. Um, oh, the uh, thing. So, push it first. There's that. And there's that. And there's just on. You know, it's actually, uh, very green. But at least on the, on the camera's screen, it looks very bluish. In some ways I'd prefer the bluish that it looks like, just, that's just my personal preference. Um, but, they're going with the green scheme, so, and off. Now, it is on a normal tactical rep. Problem is, that. Um, I, I can't really imagine that really getting in the way of anything. But it's going to drive me insane. So, um, yeah, for this, I believe has something to do with jamming. It hasn't jammed on me yet, of course I haven't really fired it much, so, yeah. That's simple release. Then, sort of like on the recon, except, well, yeah. It's been easier to get. I 
that down to three hundred, down, out, and in. Um, but again, it only comes with one, and kind of matches. It will be a bit hard for them to not realize that they're not supposed to release it yet, uh, Target. So, I don't think I'll be getting any new ones at least soon. But they didn't actually have any of the extra bags on display for sale. So, um, I like this. It just feels good. The comb could be a bit better. You know, there's this huge thing right here to hold the extra max. And yeah. So, so all I can think of, it was $45 at Target. It's not supposed to be released for another month. I'm wondering if they have realized their error yet, as I say it. Um, yeah, oh, also, this does nothing, but the little switch in here does not work, okay, and that's, and it, well, if it's, act, it's only activated by the mag being in there, or you can press it down yourself, but it, yeah, I think that is it, I'll give us a, uh, a nine, well, Nine and a half. It's it's built really well, I think. Um, in fact, the the part that was built the worst was the box. So, yeah. So this has been RTS Targe doing, I believe, the first, at least in English, review of the Nerf Night um, Vortex Nitron in English. I believe I said that already. So, signing off, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.